Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a get ready with me style video. You guys are always asking me to get ready with you guys on camera and to kind of share the products that I use with you. So I figured what better way to show you kind of like my everyday makeup routine and hair routine. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I am going to use this sponge here that I picked up from the 99 cents store. I'm going to use a lot of the makeup brushes that I either get from Dollar Tree or the 99 cents stores or even Shop Miss A. So I try to spend very little money like my foundation and all comes from Big Lots and I've done several videos in the past kind of sharing my favorite beauty products at Big Lots. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of that, please make sure to check out my old videos. I have done a recent Big Lots haul, which I will link up, up above in case you missed it, but I do like to shop at Big Lots for a lot of my makeup products because you get a really good deal. One thing I will say is just make sure the product itself is sealed. They'll have this sticker over the top because I know some people were saying that the makeup there is used and all. Just make sure it's got a seal on it. Inspect the product, make sure it's good to go. This comes from Big Lots. I just wanted to kind of give you an example of what to look for when you're at the store. Obviously, if something's open, don't purchase it. I'm going to be using this Revlon Color Stay foundation. This is in the color 240 medium beige. I got this from Big Lots and it was $3.80. It looks a tad bit light but with bronzer and all we can always darken it up a bit. I do like the 99 cent store beauty blenders. I don't feel that they are hard. You know how some beauty blenders like some inspired beauty blenders are really hard to use? Definitely not this one. So it looks like I need a little more coverage or a lot more coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more to cover up all of the imperfections. I feel like this might be a little too light. So I'm going to go in with the Revlon photo ready airbrush effect. This also comes from Big Lots and I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. I'm going to try and mix those two colors because I just feel like it's a little too light. What is your favorite drugstore foundation or drugstore brand? I want to know in the comments. I really try to get my eyeballs because I feel like my eye area can get a pretty dark. That makes me look super tired like when my eye area is dark. So I try to really focus some foundation product around my eyes because it needs to be brought back to life especially around this inner part of your eye if that area is too dark I look really tired and it's not a cute look definitely not want to look tired I'm going to go in with this original formula air spun loose face powder I use this to kind of brighten up some of those areas that you want highlighted and I will go in with a 99 cent store beauty blender. This one is shaped like this so it's got a really like precise line so I use that to kind of bake under the under here. And then I will use the pointy part to kind of bake underneath my eyes. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys, because you're going to wipe this stuff anyway. You definitely want to make sure you do get some product on there. I'm also going to put some here. This is really inexpensive and you get so much of it. 
I believe it might be like at the most five dollars so it's very cheap and this like I said it comes from the 99 cent store and it's phenomenal and yeah you can get this at Target, Walmart, the drugstores so oh my god I am a powdery mess so I kind of let that kind of do its job and you can go on and do other things while that's you know working which I'll typically do my eyebrows I'll use a like brown eyeshadow from color mates and a little angled brush anything will do this one comes from the 99 cent store it was part of like their princess collection I do have kind of like some bare areas a little really goes a long way Sometimes I feel like I kind of overdo it, but it's makeup. It all comes off. It all washes away, right? That's why I love this brush because it's got like a two-in-one. So I don't have to be dropping, picking up, dropping, picking up new brushes. So this has a little angled brush and then it's got a little brush so that you can kind of comb your eyebrows. So that's what it'll look like. I've talked about this so many times. Um, I have several different ones. I always gravitate towards this palette. I completely have hit pan on a few shades. Lately I've been using this bronzer. Okay, I found a little brush that I can use for my contour. It's like a tiny little almost it almost looks like a blending brush but like in super tiny version it's an elf brush and I'm gonna go in with some bronzer I'm going to contour my nose so this kinda helps narrow it down a little bit so it makes it appear smaller it's kind of like you're doing a nose job <laughs> With makeup I kind of let it sit there for a minute and then I'll go in and kind of blend everything together with my big powder brush this is a shop miss a brush in the high definition f7 is the name of it and we're going to use this brush to contour this is a perfect brush for contouring it's just got a really nice shape The bristles are super soft. I'm also going to go under the jaw. I have a brush from the 99 cent store. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to kind of blend everything out. So I'm going to get rid of the powder that we put underneath the eye. Kind of blend away. Blend, blend, blend. At the end of the day, you guys, it really is all about kind of blending everything together. I'm gonna go for my nose contour, kind of blend it so it doesn't look so crazy. I also got this powder from Big Lots recently. It's the CoverGirl Healthy Powder in the shade 725 Buff Beige. And I'm gonna kind of put that over the top. And I'm going to pat it in like so into the skin. A trick that I do if I think my bronzer or my blush is too heavy, I'll put some powder on my brush and then I'll just go over it to kind of make it not so intense. So that's what I do kind of for my base. My lipstick, which lately I've been using the Smoke and Mirrors liquid lipstick from the 99 cent store. I have no idea what shade this is, you guys, because it doesn't have a name. But it is literally the color of my lips, but better. So that's what I've been using on my lips. You can go in with a little bit of blush just to kind of bring some color 
to your face since everything is so like flat because it's the base. And then I'll go in with my highlighter. Everything is literally from the same palette, you guys. So I used this blush, this bronzer, and I'm going to go in with this highlight. I think this is an eBay brush, and I use this for my highlight. It's just like the perfect size. You can use a little fan brush if you don't want to go too crazy. I usually do because I want my highlight to show when I'm filming. I bring it down my nose. Put some here. You can put some underneath your eyebrow. Just anywhere where you want a little brightness nice little glow. I thought it would be nice to show how I would use the Burlington eyeshadows. So this is by Cherry Moya. I did show you this in one of my recent haul videos. I figured it'd be kind of fun to share kind of how I would use the products. I'm going to use this e.l.f. blending brush that also comes from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to apply this color here as my transition. You can make a really pretty fall color with this orange right here. I am loving that. I'm going to go in with this color here. I'm going to put that on my eyelid. I've been watching the news, something I don't like to do because I get paranoid of everything that is happening with the world. It makes me so sad. They were going over like the shootings and stuff in Texas and I'm just heartbroken you guys because that stuff just makes you really question what is really like the real issues that are happening in the United States. It goes beyond guns. It, it is so much more. I'm not saying that guns are an issue. They absolutely are because that's how many times does it take for us to understand that something needs to happen with gun control. But this all of a sudden became pretty serious. I'm taking this light color here and I'm putting it here, my inner corner, just to kind of brighten that up. You can put as little or as much as you want. And then we're going to do our hair next, alright? Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing my hair and showing you what products I use and all of that. I decided against the eyelashes. I'm just going natural today. I'm going to apply some heat protectant. I purchased this from Dollar Tree as well. I'm gonna kind of spritz it all over my hair. But I mainly like to focus it on the ends. But you do wanna apply it everywhere. Brush it through just so that it gets evenly distributed everywhere. I do like to kind of take it in sections, do la layers of hair, which is what I like to do. I'm going to go ahead and clip that down with a little clip. I've been using my Vanity Planet straightener, and I'll just go in sections like so. This straightener is freaking awesome. I really like it. I think you get like a pretty good straightened look. My hair isn't super curly so I wouldn't know how well it performs if your hair is curly or what. But if you have straight hair like me, this works perfectly. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and let my hair down. So I had basically clipped half of it up and then I'll go and do the rest of my hair. Mm. 
and it doesn't take forever you guys this isn't taking me ages so I'll compare the two I have pretty straight hair the only thing with this side is kind of it's like uneven it's kind of facing the other way I don't know if you can see it. it's probably not the top to wear so you can see straight versus it kind of does what it wants to do Alright you guys, so that is basically what I do to get ready. This is kind of like my everyday makeup routine and hair routine. You guys know I love a good deal. Um, I love this straightener because it is so much cheaper than the Chi straightener, you guys. I used to always purchase the Chi. This one is not that expensive and it does an amazing job with straightening my hair and making it look super well put together so yeah guys those are the products that I use to get ready on a daily basis these are kind of like my everyday products that I've been using you guys have been asking me that I share with you kind of my makeup routine and I thought that is a brilliant idea so I figured I would come on here and talk to you guys about the products that I have been loving and using and stuff I use to get ready on a daily basis. You guys lately have been asking what I've been doing to my hair and I've been doing nothing but using that straightener so it makes it look super soft and shiny and I love it. I really do you guys so check it out I'll leave all of the information down below in the description box for you guys and that is it so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys